Welcome back to Starting Point, everyone. I'm John Berman. And I'm Christine Romans. Two women who thought they were about to get in trouble with police wound up as witnesses to history. They happened to be driving on Seymour Ave in Cleveland last week at the very same time that officers were about to storm suspected kidnapper Ariel Castro's home. Now, at first, they thought they were being pulled over by cops. Once they realized what was happening, they broke out a cell phone camera and they began rolling on the final moments of that 10-year horror story. Also new this morning, an interview you'll only see on CNN. Pedro and O'Neill Castro breaking their silence about their brother, Ariel, the unspeakable crimes he allegedly committed and the effect it's having on their own lives. They're going to tell our Martin Savage they're feeling very much like victims, too, even though they were quickly cleared by police shortly after their arrest. I don't want this to be true. Like I said earlier, I want to wake up out of this nightmare. I want to, I want to say that I, I don't want to be hunt, hunted down like a dog for, for a crime that I did not commit. I don't want to be locked up in my house because somebody out there is going to do harm to me. Joining us now, Maria Castromontes. She is a cousin of Ariel O'Neill and Pedro Castro. Her father is brothers with their father. Thank you for joining us uh, this morning. It's so nice to see you. And when you hear that, uh, when you hear those two cousins, your cousins talking about being hunted down for a crime that they, they did not commit, tell me what's happening with your family and how your family feels about, I guess, the public perceptions there. Right. Um, you know, it's, it's very difficult. Um, first of all, because we did, you know, the, the media was making it look and the police did make it look like it was all three. So there was certainly a great sense of relief when we found out that the two um, had been found innocent. Um, I, you know, I should hope one of my initial statements was to please not judge an entire family based on one person's actions. And, and here then became a perfect example. You know, these poor men have also fallen victim to the horrible things that their brother did. And I should hope that people remain rational and realize that the reason that they were let go is because the girls themselves have made these statements to the police that there was no one else involved, specifically these two brothers. So they, they have to accept that and move on and realize that that they're totally innocent and, and to please just not retaliate against these two brothers or their mother. What's your reaction to their interview? I mean, they said they wanted to, they sat down with CNN so they could really clear the air and make sure people knew that they, mm -hmm. they uh, are disgusted uh, by the alleged actions of their brother, yes. but they don't want the family to be painted in the same light. Right. Right, exactly. And I mean, it's painful as well. Um, you know, and, and watching his daughter's interview, it's obvious that he fooled everyone. Um, you know, he, he obviously lived two separate lives. And, you know, everyone thought that he was the good person that we all at some point in our lives had thought him to be. And now all of these things are coming to light and it's got to be horrifying. It's horrifying for me and I'm just a cousin. Mm -hmm. You know, these are the people that lived their lives with him daily. So I, I can't even imagine what they're thinking and what they're going through. What are your, you and your family members talking about? I mean, are you all sort of going through your memory and going through history and trying to find tell-tale signs or, or, or any kind of red flags in hindsight. I mean, it must be, I can only imagine everyone's racking their brains trying to figure out what did we miss. Right. Well, un we, we have racked our brains, um, unfortunately, not about what we missed about this case because there certainly couldn't have been anything that we missed. None of us had been in the house and there weren't any signs with him and we didn't see him that often more recently. What we've racked our brains about is, is when we did know him and interacted with him in such happy times. I, I think back now to what point in his life made him change at what point in his life when i was looking at him even in younger days did he already have some evil heart yeah. at, at what point was was there a turning point that, that's what we're, that's what i'm finding difficult also to come to grips with i want to play a little bit of sound from that interview um so many fascinating fascinating uh responses from o'neill and pedro but in particular unusual behavior about the house listen he would let me in, 
No, past the kitchen. Could you see anything beyond the kitchen? No. Because there's curtains. Do you have the house blocked off with curtains? Mm-hmm. And what about, could you hear anything in the home? No, the radio was playing all, all the time. He would, or, play, he would play music all the time? Yeah. If not the radio, the TV. Something had to be on at all time in the kitchen. Such odd behavior, but he really, people didn't really go to his house very often. No, people in the family really didn't go there very much, did right. they? Right. I mean, when you think about it, he was a bachelor, and, you know, most bachelors don't entertain. And, and as far as the music, you know, obviously, in hindsight, we look at it back now and say, oh, he was trying to muffle sounds and that kind of thing. But he was a musician. And, you know, being Hispanic, we love our music. I mean, I blast my music in, in my car. Most people do, or in my home when I'm cleaning or cooking or doing my daily chores. So it, the sound of music isn't anything for people to have found as strange. All right, well, Maria, thank you for coming and sharing your uh, story with us this morning. And um, again, just, I can't thank imagine you. how the family must be just going over every little detail over the years. Just such a shocking, shocking turn of events. Thank you.